This presentation provides you with a few tips for writing a literature review article. This is not a comprehensive list of things you should do, but it's just meant to jumpstart the process. The idea behind the eat this, not that diet is that small changes in food choice can add up to noticeable changes in weight. Here I've borrowed that idea to provide some suggestions of small changes in your approach that can improve the quality of your literature review article. Try to read the most relevant work instead of reading everything. You may be tempted to read the first five articles you find on your topic. However, because you are writing a short review, it is essential that the review discusses studies that are related and provide the most insight into your topic. Also, don't try to read every single article you find. For some topics, there are thousands of articles. The act of writing is a critical component of thinking. Recall that one of the course objectives is directly related to thinking learning to analyze and critically evaluate ideas. Don't worry if your first drafts aren't perfect. They aren't supposed to be. The purpose is to help you start thinking about what you're going to say and taking the time to refine it. The trap you want to avoid is reading a lot of sources without writing anything down. This can lead to a false sense of security. And please, please, please keep bibliographic information for every source. This is by far the easiest way to avoid plagiarism. Please don't risk your academic career by keeping poor notes and citations. Use the information in the literature review article button on Blackboard for instructions on citation formatting and an online citation manager. You should also organize your literature review article by ideas. This tip also relates to the learning objective I previously mentioned. Organizing your article by ideas demonstrates that you have analyzed the primary literature sources and found commonalities among them. It also demonstrates that you are evaluating your sources because you are deciding which ideas are most important and therefore deserve to be included in your review article. A good literature review is focused. So you want to remember your purpose. You want to read the primary literature with purpose, and you also want to write your literature review article with purpose. Illustrations, also called figures, serve several purposes in a review article. Some figures function as a visual summary. For visual learners, it is a quick way to cue in on the main points of the review article. The example shown here shows the relationship among various cell signaling pathways. The reader can identify downstream targets of receptors and which of these targets are used by multiple receptors. Notice the main point of this summary figure is that these pathways work to control gene regulation, cell growth, and apoptosis or programmed cell death. Other times, the authors of the review article use a figure to propose a model based on the data from all of the studies previously mentioned in the review. This type of figure can be fascinating as it provides scientists with a new hypothesis to test and discuss. Finally, some review articles will use a figure to describe the area of inquiry or define controversy within that area.